Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play No Man's Sky. Well, sorry, I gotta, I gotta get used to saying that. Let's chill with No Man's Sky. So, as you remember, we built this thing last time, but we need to get a Corvax here. So to do that, we need to head out to another star system. Now, unfortunately, my actual starship doesn't have a warp drive, so we need to go ahead and get some nanite clusters to get that. That is going to be today's goal. Let's see. Uh, oh, not X. Access the log again. Gotta remember how to play this game. Here we go. So, we need to get a base scientist. Now, the problem is, to do that, we need to go to another space station to get one of the Corvax guys. That. We're going to just do this for now, since we can actually do these. Blueprint Analyzer. Go ahead and build one of these guys. Uh, portable technology. I need more magnetized ferrite, you say. That's easy. I need to get... I think like hundred of these guys. All right, seventy-seven, eighty-six, almost there. Thank you, hundred and ten ferrite. Now, I gotta make stairs because flying into your own base seems a little silly. So let's use the refiner. This is actually probably one of the best things I've actually created here today. Ferrite dust. Here we go. Make pure ferrite. As I wait for this thing to finish. So hopefully everyone's day is going well. Uh, there was actually a tornado warning in my friend's area yesterday. So... Hopefully everyone's safe. I know it was all over the Midwest. So the Midwest was in a pretty bad spot yesterday. Hopefully if you have anybody that's there in the Midwest or you know anybody that's in the West or in the Midwest, I should say, hopefully they're all safe and sound. Please make sure you guys go check up. On Why is there a Sentinel here? Make sure that you know, you check in on them. Make sure that everybody's safe and sound. But yeah, make sure you do that guys because you never know what could happen and you know I'm I'm praying that everyone stayed safe but yeah other than that horrifyingly alarming piece of news where is this sentinel it says he's right in front of me oh he's outside the base oh this little jerk go away you're not welcome here he likes you jerk go away Go further away. Alright. Drop that off in the suit. Alright, he's going away. Let's go build the blueprint analyzer. Actually, you know what? Let's build that inside. Analyze blueprints in here. Print portable technology blueprint analyzer. Drop it off right there. Beep, boop, 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 beep. What you got? Analysis unit online, awaiting output. Diagnostic suggestion. Users should recover very technology from big sites. Equip and utilize an analysis visor. Good, why not? Let's see. Oh, you can, oh. Okay, okay. So you actually have to, oh. oh these are all things that you could, you used to be able to just have inside your base. Protection units. Recharge your hazard protections. Oh, that's so cool. 3, 5, 10, 11, 13, 15 salvage technologies. Okay. What else is here? Frontage, the message module, station station, wood framed glass panel, wooden. <gasps> A ramp so I could build it. Yes. 
Yes. Okay, I need 15 for all these because I need all those. 17, 18, 19, 4, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29. I need 30. All right. Well, 30 it is. All right. Explore the planet and locate buried technology. Use the analysis visor. Oh, What's my starship. Let's start with that. I have anything that I need or that I don't need on me that's in my starship. Oxygen, silver, battle ammunition. Hmm. The navigation data together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're already charged up. Thrusters. All right, I guess. Hydrogen and a metal plating, of which I can make. I do not have a lot of space. I can get rid of these though too. Those can go over there. I could plant the signal that in the base too. Why not? Input data. Location data. Start frequency ranges. Outpost, distress frequency, secure frequency. Artifacts. Cross referencing navigational data. Alright, where? Oh, that's in booty tier far away. That is 21. Ooh, it's an ancient ruin though. Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna go do it. Uh. Oh yeah, it's ice cold. It's brick. Oh, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. Back in the ship. Thank you. Okay, so hermetic seals I can make. Again. Why do you need to make uh whatchamacallit as fast as you can the storage units? Alright, so head over to the ruins. I wanna see what's over here. All right, so hopefully everybody's, you know, week is starting out pretty strong, you know, nothing too stressful. I wish I could say the same, but unfortunately for me, it's kind of rough around the edges, but you know, I'm still here, still able to play my games, still able to relax when I need to. So I just got to keep hope up and stay positive. But hopefully for everybody else, it's, you know, being chill and you don't have to worry about too much. Let's see, we're at the ancient ruins already. Not crash into the ancient ruins. And right here. Landed right on the carbon plant. Okay. Oh, great. One of you guys. By keen word for replace. I'm a student. I've learned eight words. 
All right, well, that's not bad. That's how you start. Now, you might be thinking, why am I learning words in an alien language? Viking word for voice. Cool. It's because when you're talking to Viking, how do I attack again? Not the button I meant to press. I don't have a button that lets me physically hit things. Bulls. Track melee Q. There we go. That weird animation. All right, uh, there's oxygen down there. Hey, you might be wondering, why are you learning alien language? Well, because the thing is, when you do this, you can actually learn what the aliens are actually saying. Comprehended. Learned it, comprehended, if I could say that right, instead of putting the weird emphasis on the wrong syllable. But yeah, um, you can actually understand what the aliens are saying to you in the game. Hmm, let's see. The imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by the strange marker. The story of the Viking somehow spills out in the language of my own people. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey throughout the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and belief of the ancients. Okay, well, we can ask for help with the language or knowledge of the past. I'm curious. I want to see what they have with knowledge of the past. Historical data revealed. Oh, it's over there. Another ancient ruin. Mark that up. I'll head over there later. But yeah, finding the knowledge stones lets you learn what the aliens are actually saying to you. So it'll actually help you with quests later if they're doing things like, oh, hey, I need to, you know, I need to talk to them and not get completely destroyed. That's what you do. You talk to them and you understand them. Grab these dihydrogen crystals. Nothing? Okay, good. You ain't looking this way, right? Don't mind me, just, you know, throwing natural resources. Bye. Oh, alright, I got my dihydrogen. I need more ferrite dust. Need like 40. I think. Safe, I'll get 50. I need a metal plate. Yup. And starship fuel. I save that for later. I'm gonna go visit these ruins over here now. Trying not to crash into things. All right, here we are. Oh, this one's submerged. Let's check it out. While we do that, I'll recharge that. All right, destination reached. What happened here. I even get in there? Is there a way to get in there? Submerged and you can't get in there. That would suck. I just wasted that one. Wait, can I? Anything for me to see down here? Artifact fragment. Huh. I wonder. Yeah, there's more. Gnome building. Well, let me, uh, tag that for later. Artifact fragments. Oh.
entire parts of this thing are just submerged. Now that's pretty neat. This is something new that they did. They didn't used to do this before. You could just excavate the ruins now. Hmm. Uh, multi-tool this thing. My mining bean some love. Manipulator some love. Wrong one. Oh, yeah, this is pretty neat. Now I gotta keep my eyes out for things underneath. Alright, that's good to know. Very technology modules over there. Tag that. Okay, so the mysterious building. Alien artifacts over there. Pirate deposit over there. Unknown building. I wanna check that out. This. A gravitino ball? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Is that what I think it is? Hold on. I, I gotta see if that's what I think it is. Run, 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 run. I won't go back to prison! My butt all can't take that abuse! Oh, this is very bad. <clears throat> Alright. We're leaving. Keep searching, buddies. Y'all ain't finding me now. I'm, I'm staying off planet now, boy. So, let me explain what I just found. A Gravitino Ball is a very rare element. I need to hide from these guys. It's a very rare element, and you can actually make a lot of money off of farming these things. Problem is, when you find them, as you can see, the Sentinels immediately are alerted of your presence. It's kind of illegal to harvest them. Oof. So, you don't want to have them. There's an unknown building here. Check it out. I immediately had to bail. Because having them on you is just flat out illegal, so... Now I gotta change this out. Look at this, look at this. It's a trade commodity. But the moment you have it, Sentinels are gonna come gunning for you. This thing can make you bank if you can farm it, because you can- it's a plant. You can literally just farm the plant. And it makes zero sense, but you know what? It's worth it. I'm gonna just take this Viking effigy. I'll put this thing back in my starship, though. Sentinel Force deactivated. Awesome. So, now that I've got that all squared away, what can I do with this? Bio input. I need chromatic metal. Oh. I can make that. I'll take those nanite clusters. Uh, What did that give me? Oh, navigation data. But there's more plants like that, too. Oh. More plants like that that are basically illegal substances that you're not supposed to have. And there's one for each environment that you can be in. Extreme heat, extreme cold, uh, extremely toxic, and extreme radiation. You can get one for each element. And it's really good if you get them because you can make extreme amounts of money just by, you know, planting them in your house and farming them. Like, like these guys. This one right here. Hazardous floor. Let me see. Is that what it is? No, that might not be it. But anything that, that had those two yellow lines on it might be one of those rare ones. Okay, I don't want the custom marker. Get it away. Like this. Subterranean relic. What's that? That one. Ancient data structure. Let's see what's over there. And then... I write deposit... Alien artifact. Hazardous flora there. That I'm looking for again, in terms of actual story. This guy, the buried technology module. Way over there, okay. I'll come back for that. See, this is why I love this game, because I'm supposed to be doing one thing and I'm just not doing it. And it's okay. 
because you know it's still fun like i wouldn't have found that gravitino ball if i didn't go exploring whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i'm drunk i'm drunk oh my lord alien data structure it's just here i did not need to fly for this now i feel really stupid whatever initiate thank you jesus Oh, out the ship. I was about to just jump out again. Okay, so these guys just give me navigation data. Where's the other one? Oh, it's in my wing. Oh, that's a problem. Goodbye, Sentinels. You can jump away now. Thank you. Okay, what am I looking for? building over there awakenings explore I I guess oh I have a rocket launcher in here uh, that's my base all right uh, I done goofed so to probably make more rocket fuel first then I can go figure out where the other thing is. Let's go to the unknown building. Why not? And here we are. Yet another unknown building. But there is no building. Oh god, you guys loaded in real slow. That was weird. And we're here. Pop out real quick. Life support. More metal. Why not? Alright, return. Not. Do not go away. All right. Let's activate one of these things. Metal plate. I need ferrite dust. Hmm. The oxygen boys. Forty ferrite dust. Might as well kick it up to eighty just to be ready for the next time this happens. There we go. Eighty ferrite dust. I'll make two metal plates. What? Oh, it's fifty. Two metal plates. I need dihydrogen, which is over there. Another damaged container. Just metal. Yes. Oh, give me an ion battery. Oh, could I? Was I supposed to like double open these? Hold on. Is that what I'm doing wrong? No. Nope. Just take that. Get rid of it. Now the container's open. Very full, that's fine. Uh, rid of the five ferrite dust. Oh my god, I've been doing this all wrong this whole time. I could just double tap on these. Atlas pass V1, okay. Starship, what can I get rid of? I don't need that. Alright, so now that I've got this. I'm going to recharge this with oxygen. Uh, I can make a starship launch fuel. This to my starship since it's about to be empty. Where is it that I'm supposed to be going? 
Deposits, deposits, deposits. Deposit. There. Very technology module. Way out in the distance. Alright, so where are you? Where did you... Is it really right over here? Is it really right here? I feel stupid. Oh, my lord. Alright, whatever. Recharged. Out we go. Where is it? Technology module. I know it said buried, so it's underground somewhere. I just need to figure out where I'm standing. Oh, I'm literally on it. Look at me literally landing on things. Great, I need to move my ship. Come on, ship, move. Forward. Thank you. I can't believe I just had to waste that. That's awesome. They should give us a way to move. Oh, wait, they did. I'm just stupid. I could have summoned my ship after moving away. I didn't need to do that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Hello, jumpy wormy boy. How are you doing? How are you doing this fine evening? Hello, Sentinel, you asswipe. I literally landed on it. Holy hell. Salvage technology. Any more? Oh, I got four from that. Okay. Now. Where is there more salvage technology? There's got to be some more around here somewhere. Yikes. Let's not and say we did. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Alright. Go ahead and head back home. Where is home? Home is where the heart is. And right now, my heart is very confused as to where I'm supposed to be going. I think I just dug out. Or is this a new one? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, yikes. Not what I meant to do. Oh, wow, you see the storm on, like, in-game. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, that's a new one. That has to be a new one. I want to land and get it. Okay, my base is dead ahead of me. Hmm, yikes. It is hot as hell outside. Oh, God. Plant. Where's that buried technology module? It's around here somewhere. Yep, I know. Kidno cactus. Very technology module. Subterranean relics. Alien artifacts. Game just lied to me again? No. Hazardous flora. Is that what I pinged? Let me back up a little bit. I swear I saw it say... There it is over there I was like I know I saw it say it somewhere Ooh, my base is far from here one might say it's far from home okay that was a bad joke 
I've also yet to see Endgame. I don't know if I'm gonna see it. I'm debating on that one. I'm I'm a more of a DC guy than a Marvel guy. The only Marvel hero I actually really like is like Spider-Man, but that's about it. And I I'm not really the biggest fan of the current Spider-Man. Like it's just not my fuel. Summoning requires fuel in the launch structure. Oh, cool. That's good to know. It's not just summon it and call it a day. Where did, where did the thing go? That's not the same one. There's one like right here where I'm at. So what? If you just get right up on top of it, he disappears? Right in front of me. Is that what it is? If it's... Oh. Ooh, there's two of them here. Nice. Alright, let's summon the ship. Wait, what's this? What deposit is that? Alright. Alright. Me. Yeah, let's go. Give me some pyrite, baby. I don't know what I use it for, but I'm, I got it now. Weird bat butterfly looking things. Alright, let's summon the ship now. Summon this bad boy. Thank you. Alright, so if it requires fuel from the launch thruster, that means this should be less, right? Alright, so now let's head back to the base. Way over there. Alright, so we're gonna analyze these blueprints. If I'm lucky, it'll give me a warp drive or how to build a warp drive. Because then I can use that to get to the Corvax guy without having to spend all my nanite clusters on a warp drive engine. Which would be nice, because then I get to save my nanites for a better warp drive engine. Or, you know, literally anything else. Alright, good old Chateau de Wood. There it is. I like that little... I love how there's just that one rock out there floating with no support. It's just there. It, it just does not care about anything you need. It's just there. And I cannot... I'm, I'm definitely buying stairs. I'm 100,000% buying stairs. Alright, blueprint analyzer. Analysis awaiting input. Research. Alright, let's see. Personal teleporter line of the user move. Great, great. Alright, so I want the following things. Now, these are just the blueprints. This doesn't actually give me the things for it, it just teaches me how to build it. I've got five left. I could build a health station so I can recharge my health that way. I do the smart thing locked crate. Arch for base construction. That's it. Like a ramp. Oh, you could buy the other rooms now, too. Okay. Wait a minute. I just saw that. Yes, I can buy these now. The, this is what I used to make my old base in my other game. Yes, I can now buy. Oh, so they're still here. They're just, I gotta unlock all this other stuff first. Okay, so it only has room for those three. Okay, that's good to know. Base archives updated, new signal acquired. New signal. Base computer archives. Huh. Dang. Oh, there's a buried technology module over there too. Hmm. I could sell these. But first, let's see what I can build now. Aquatic construction. <gasps> the deep water chamber? Oh, I could build a water base. 
Ooh. Ooh, that is actually really cool now. You, I'm pretty sure you couldn't build a water base before. This game is slowly becoming Subnautica. I need a wooden ramp. I need carbon and pure ferrite, you say? Well, let's uh, get some pure ferrite. But I should have some ferrite on me. Magnetize to pure. Oh, wait, this lets me go backwards. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. Me, I guess. Demagnetize metal. Grab my fear, my pure ferrite and take that into the thing. And that needs that. All right, base components. Got the ferrite, now I just need the carbon. I want to attach this the other way though. Yeah, you had it right, you had it right. Carbon. Wrong button. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn second. Uh huh. Life support. Dihydrogen for this. Need 40 dihydrogen. Dihydrogen near me. But I have enough to get some carbon. I lied, there's dehydrogen right there. Alright, let's grab all this. I have 22. Oh, perfect number, 40. Now I can make this, and I can put this in my starship, which is the fuel. And I got more slots. Now that I got slots, I can kill this guy. Thank you for all your carbon. Why aren't you breaking this down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I wish to... Do... Basic... I'm going to do a wooden ramp. Potato, potato. Right? Dead. Yes. Yes, this is exactly what I needed. Now, I need to get out of this. Uh, create. The back. i mine this stuff back out. Precision mining. Uh, precision creating. Eh. Not exactly what I wanted, but I'll run with it. I now have an actual way to get into my base without having to jump for it. That is amazing. Back. Alright, take him back. Battery. I can't use that. An ant ion battery. Hmm. The Gek relics. Their archives. Only 37 U away, so I don't need to go that far for it. Oh, it's this thing. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna take this, pick it up, and just put it back in the base. All right. Scanner de wait. <clears throat> Scanner detected. Unusual <coughs> repeating 16. <coughs> the space station. Warning. Archives interrupted. Emergency broadcast detected. The traveler finds their wings. They fly towards us as they must. 
you will find us. Time is right. Space computer interrupted its own archive retrieval program to relay an emergency message. But the broadcast sounds like no ever no distress call I have ever heard. Perhaps the message is right. Perhaps it is time to fly. To return to space and seek the answers to this mystery. Alright. Emergency broadcast code 16, 16, 16, 16. Okay. Why is it not removable? Why am I being damaged? Outside? Take you inside. Okay, fine. You're not going inside. That's probably why. Hiker traveled 30,000 or 30 kilometers or kilo S is whatever those are. Kilo units. There's the space station for intelligent life. Any there? And it clusters. What's Quicksilver? I don't know. Wish to build. Let's build more things. Ooh, farming. What do I need for this? Carbon? That's it? One. Is that it? Is that all I can do with you? Kinda sucks. I don't know if it's the same, or maybe I have to upgrade it. Probably do, thinking of the old, the way that it, I had to upgrade the, the farming thing with another alien species to put into my base. Where's that? Right, recharge Reno. Right now, can't build anything besides that for farming. Large rooms. I can also build this. This is the coolest thing ever. Basic components. I still only have the wooden ones because I didn't get the other one yet. Specialist storage farming, portable technology, permanent technology. Ah. I could put a base teleporter right there. Ionized cobalt. Do I even have any cobalt? Probably not. Copper, pyrite, sodium nitrate, magnetic metal, oxygen, oxygen, silver. Yeah, I don't have any cobalt. All right. Oh, that's fine. Go to the space station. Tag this though, so I can come back to that later. Okay, that didn't stick around, I guess. All right, I don't know where it went. Oh, well, it's a shame. I'll find more later. Let's go to the space station, even though we know there's already alien life form there. A little closer. More this way. Get centered, please. And you handled terribly. There we go. There, up, 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 up. Stop pulling down, please. Thank you. And there we go. All right. And we'll arrive in one minute. Oh boy. It gets choppy when you get stuck in between a planet like that. Uh, that's a shame, but it probably means we're gonna have to leave this planet soon enough. So before I do leave planet, I'm going to build a teleporter. Because here's the cool thing about teleporters. Unlike the ship, teleporters don't actually require warp engines or anything like that. Unless they've changed it, in which case this will suck. But what happens is, you could be in a whole different galaxy. 
like you could have warped away like 10 times over you could still end up teleporting right back to your base and summon your ship to you and it is the funnest thing being able to cross you know entire star systems by doing that all right now i gotta go around this thing whoa, 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 whoa. not not to that not to that not to that not to that not that far oh oh no 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 all right i'm gonna end up landing on this planet here eventually because it's so gorgeous it's on it copper oh wait no i have copper on mine i need cobalt Pull up, pull up, pull up. Jesus. Jesus, stop. Thank you. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Take me home. Country roads. Thank you. All right. Initiating docking procedure. We are arriving. Pop on out. So now that we're here, go ahead and head up this way. Who we need to talk to up here? Alright, interloper, and then whatever you said. Life form puffs themselves up as I approach, making most of their impressive size. The code I heard at the signal repeater might be the key to winning them over. Hearing the code seemed to cause a life form to shrink, a look of fear crossing their face. And then, in an instant, the fear passed. They look at me strangely, but say nothing more. Okay. That's not who it is. Ask other life forms then, I guess. Can I talk to you about it? Life form waits behind the terminal to look me up and down to decide if I'm not a to decide I am not a customer. They do not look particularly helpful. Life form looks at me alarm with alarm before waving me away. Okay, I guess I can't talk to you then. Navigation data. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I need. Wait, I don't. I. I. Why did I try that? Why did I try that? That was a. That was a stupid decision. I'm not even gonna attempt to read that again. Oh, dang it! I did not mean to press that. Let's try it again. I. I cannot. Yan, ew. I hew. Yan ahu edzad ere obje obe yujan en mixi zigi tadu taidu ahu ata dixi dan. Oh god. The life form waits behind their terminal. They look me up and down, decide if I am not a customer. Okay, same person. Repeat the code. Looks at me with alarm before waving me away. Okay, so all the shop people are gonna say this, huh? This shop person says the same thing, I'm just gonna not do it again. Okay, different dialogue here. Stares at me silent. When I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me at the terminal. I feel compelled to repeat the code I heard at the signal repeater. Oh, so this is the guy I needed to talk to. <clears throat> Let's try this. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. The code is echoed back to me through the red glare, transformed into a set of coordinates. The crimson light fades, and I see a life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave and find whatever has been left for me. Signal acquired. Life signs detected. Reach the distress beacon. Where is the distress beacon? Off planet? Oh, it's on this planet. All right. Well, guys, I'm actually gonna leave it here for now. I would love to keep going, but I've got to eat. You know, I'm hungry. 
And then I'm going to start editing and recording some more after this for some of the newer stuff that I'm going to be putting out this week. So be ready for that. But other than that, guys, I hope you all had fun with Let's Chill with No Man's Sky. I will catch you all here next time. And we'll, you know, discover what's going on with that distress beacon and figure out, you know, who these aliens are. But other than that, guys, if you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to, you know, give me ideas for what to name some of these planets or maybe even rename my starship, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And I will catch you all here next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with that little notification bell. That way you know whenever I drop a new episode. Other than that, guys, catch you all here next time on Let's Chill with No Man's Sky. Look at him looking around. I don't know what to name this little robot guy on my shoulder, but I want to give him a name. I'm going to call you. I don't know. I'll think of a name for you yet, buddy. <laughs>